Good morning. How are you guys? <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a great morning. I have not been on uh, in the morning in a bit, so um, I wanted to, yeah, come on. I think I've been going on more in the afternoon. So, um, my name is Molly with Sunflower Soul Healing, and I am a Reiki Master Practitioner. With Reiki, all you have to do, just sit back, open your heart, and receive. Reiki works on our intention for our highest good, helping to balance and calm <clears throat> our mind, body, and spirit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I was so excited this morning because the sun is out <laughs> after a well it feels like a lot of dreary days so I hope it's sunny wherever you are it always makes you feel better So just helping to move that energy. Anything heavy you might be holding on to. Help you get ready for the day. Or maybe it's afternoon where you are, I don't know. <laughs> be mindful of my time this morning. I don't have as much time, but so I'll have to definitely watch that because <laughs> I get lost in it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start on the root chakra. Ground us in. So just take some nice deep breaths in. that are on here if you have any requests please let me know especially when I'm working in that particular uh, chakra okay just put it on there and if I am there and I get sidetracked just remind me <laughs> all right so working on that root base of our spine red in color Helping to ground our energy. Physical would be anything in our hips and below. So your hips, your legs, your knees, your feet, your ankles, whatever that is. Sciatica if you have issues, lower back. Now 
helping us to feel grounded and in our body, not so scattered. So this will be good for this morning <laughs> to start our day. So if you have a busy day ahead of you or a lot on your list, just settle in and let's ground your energy. If you have any fear energy or if you've been feeling sluggish or anything like that, be kind of in our root. When our root is balanced, we feel, well, we feel balanced. <laughs> For one, we feel balanced. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, we feel grounded. Uh, I would say anchored. I like that. Just anchored in your body. You know, you're not scattered and forgetting your it's like what I do with my keys what I do with my purse where's this oh you know it's like that's when you know you're ungrounded it's like all right <laughs> a lot of anxiety yeah so if you've been feeling like a lot of anxiety and I will say and the energy's been quite intense um Just letting that, letting that go. And a lot of times anxiety, it's like, when we're looking too far ahead. Yeah. So just try and be in this moment, just relax. been having a lot of anxiety or fear or anything let's just let that go you're doing great and everything's gonna be okay appreciate all the likes, the shares, um, the subscriptions. Thank you. It helps me. All right. Let's just bring that energy down again, down from our head, all those thoughts, pulling it down. Hello. Good morning. And really anchoring us into the ground for our day, feeling supported, feeling vibrant, feeling anchored. Let's play that root chakra singing bowl again. Okay, just breathe in. Ooh, yeah, we're in black tourmaline for grounding. Excellent. One of my favorites. It'll I love that for grounding. Okay.
Yep, love this one. Well, let's do a little black tourmaline. Let's see, I, I didn't have that one. We will, we will just do a little black tourmaline for grounding. Next, we are gonna move to our, uh, some healing in your stomach area, you got it. Um, our sacral, so I feel very sacral-esque today. I must be feeling that. Well, sacral and heart, I think sacral and heart, yeah. So, sacral orange in color, it's that womb area, it's like right below the belly button. So physical, if you have any lower back, um, any reproductive issues, hormonal issues, cyst, um, uh, fertility, um, bladder, Oh, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate that. Oh, you have the flu and your lungs are hurting. All right, when I get up to that area, I will work on that. I hope you feel better. So, sacral. Again, we carry a lot of heavy emotions there. So let's just clear out all of that heaviness. Our sacral, the element is water. Water is feminine energy, emotional energy. So the sacral, when it's in balance, we're going with the flow, you know? We're not trying to control every aspect of our life and feeling fearful of the what ifs and looking too far ahead. That's when that like anxiety kind of settles in, that fear energy. So we want to let go of that as much as we can, right? That's easier said than done sometimes. But just trusting just taking it moment by moment and just allowing and going with the flow. I always like envision, just imagine just laying in water and you're floating on your back, right? And that water is just kind of supporting you and you're just allowing, your body is just allowing just to drift, to move. You're not resisting. Going with the flow, you know. Thank you, thank you for the gift. Thanks for the likes, guys. So, any fear energy? Let's clear that again. That that. That, we hold that a lot in that root, sacral. Any, um, also uh, addiction, if you uh, struggle with that. It can be anything. Food, substance, shopping, <laughs> whatever it is. Work, work, you know. Because our sacral is all about joy, it's all about abundance, it's all about that inspiration. And so when it's feeling stagnant or you know blocked, <clears throat> we might instead of looking for those things within ourselves, um, we look for outer things, you know, or maybe those heavy emotions, you know that 
the shame, the guilt, the fear, the anxiety is too overwhelming. So what do we do? Well, we want to know that we don't want to feel that. No way. So instead we look to other things, right? To numb that. So it's all about sometimes kind of sitting with that energy, even if it's a little uncomfortable, understanding it, like what does it have to say? What's the root, you know? Acknowledging it, but then kind of setting it free, just letting it go. You guys are gonna have to help me with time. I gotta be done by like uh, 9.50. <laughs> you know me, I'll get kind of going, so. <laughs> oh, I'm moving slow. So filling you with joy and abundance and inspiration and um, trusting and just go on with the flow. or when I'm working on you. Do you feel it in that area? Do you feel it somewhere else? This is carnelian, which is amazing for that sacral chakra. Of course, the beautiful color. Yeah. Also good for your throat chakra. been doing my tuning fork have I well we're gonna add that in all right so next up we are gonna work on um, solar plexus so that's that belly um, stomach area yellow in color like Sun energy bright vibrant fire energy it's our power that's our power center So physical here would be um, stomach, um, stomach, spleen, liver, gallbladder, emotions, worry or anger. So for my beautiful subscriber who has the flu, if you have stomach nausea or anything going on, sending healing to that. Also that mid-back area. So it's all about being in our power. Feeling determined, confident, assured, worthy. One hundred percent. If you want to book and have a specific, I always have you 
set a certain intention. Um, so 100%. So notice, you know, where do you hold stress in your body? That's why I always ask because it's like we, we may not even realize until we do energy work or our body becomes relaxed enough to notice where that tension is or where we might hold it. Um, it's different for everybody. But, you know, most of us have certain probably areas in our body, chakras that may be stronger or weaker, you know, it's just, it's just... Um, so do you carry a lot of stress and worry? Are you a worrier? Then this solar plexus could be an area to work on. Or do you have a lot of anger and you just, you don't know how to get rid of it? So our emotions can really play a big role in how we feel and obviously stress too. I always say this is also an area, if you are an empath, if you are a caretaker, if you are a nurse, doctor, child life specialist, um, mom, dad, I, you know, just anybody who gives a lot, um, cares for others a lot, it's like helping to work on those boundaries. healers. So. Just clearing anything that may not be yours. You don't need to pick up everybody else's stuff. So when I'm doing that, you can just visualize me. If you've been around toxic energy or just energy that feels like it's just draining you, you know, whether it's emotional stuff or grumpy people, <laughs> I don't know, just if you're around like, oh God, like they are just like grumps, you know, sometimes that's, that's enough just to, maybe it's like you work in retail and there's just a lot of grumpiness, well, So just bringing all of your own energy back to you, filling that solar plexus up with love and light and healing. Let's do okay. solar plexus full. Notice where you feel this. Just take some nice deep breaths in. some sunshine, vibrant vitality, energy in. Again, if you're feeling sluggish or just kind of drained, just refilling that tank. Yes, 
yesterday I was really tired and I thought, oh gosh, I have so much stuff I want to get done and do and I need to do this. And then I was like, you know what? Nope, it's okay. And what did I do? I laid on my table and I gave myself a really long session. <laughs> and I am so glad I did because I slept better and I feel really good today. So listen to your body. And if you need a rest, rest and don't beat yourself up about it. Perfect. And I'm going to do my, uh, I haven't done this, so let's do this. So we are going to move up to the heart chakra, which is green in color, green, green and pink. Um, right here. So helping with lung, uh, any lung congestion, uh, any heaviness on the heart, stress on your chest area. If you have that tightness, that heaviness there, or anything just weighing heavy on your heart today. Helping to bring more love and forgiveness compassion and self-love. sadness. And just open that chest up, drop the shoulders, just receive. beautiful heart light of yours to shine. Don't hide it away. Breathing, not holding our breath. Reaching in and just let go of whatever feels heavy there. So 
someone said yes with that horn honk. I don't know if you heard it. <laughs> I'm just filling you with just unconditional love, compassion, and just grace for yourself. Forgiveness for yourself. Let's play that tuning fork. Okay. And let's do the heart chakra bowl. receive, allow this sound just to clear out all the gunk. <laughs> I'm excited for my, um, yeah, my new mug, my tumbler, tumbler, that's what I need to call it. Yes, so I need to. And honestly, you can create whatever you want. I'm, I'm all about surprises, so yeah. Um, all right, so that heart chakra, let me get, do I want to use on heart today? Ooh, well, let's bring this vibrant beauty in. And um, I will repost this to YouTube so you can go back and watch it. And if you're new here, I post all my lives to YouTube because I go at different times on different days. And that way, if you miss me, they are always there. So um, yeah, you can subscribe. That's just like following on YouTube. And then you can watch them at your convenience at Sunflower Soul Healing or in my uh, link tree. It'll say, and um, there. I don't know why people say to be careful with malachite. Now I will say that um, a raw specimen um, handling that can have some, I think, uh, toxins in it, but if it's tumbled, and you know this is tumbled and sealed, um, so maybe that's what you're. Maybe that's what they're referring to. So you do have to be careful with some raw crystals because you know, um, yeah, and malachite I believe could be one of those. So that may be what they're referring to. Um, yeah. 
But yeah, all my information, if you want to follow me on Insta, I do a lot to my stories every day, different stuff, posts. Um, so, yeah. All right, we are gonna move up to our throat chakra. Um, beautiful blue energy, ocean blue in color, all about speaking our truth, um, expressing ourselves. If you have any issues with um, sore throat or thyroid or neck pain, um, shoulder area, anything up here. And then of course, you know, I love working in the ears. So these are our main chakras, but we have so many more um, that really we don't talk about. And we do have ear chakras. And I think they're really important to clear. And their color is actually magenta. <laughs> and also that high heart right here. So our chakras, they protrude out this way and this way. So it's always interesting to look if you have back issues or things going on back on the back side, where does it correlate? Just clearing that, helping you to speak your truth from your heart, express yourself, whatever it is you need to say. And that your words are powerful and they matter and your feelings matter. And that area can get blocked too if, if you do speak your truth, but it's really not heard or, so then it kind of causes, you know, causes us to kind of shut down a bit. Just releasing that. Singing, humming, that helps to open that area up. Maybe it's overactive. So I had someone say, can you help me listen more? <laughs> so maybe you're a talker and you're like, rrr, 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 you know, and you're not really, maybe, maybe you need to be more quiet because you talk so much and listen to what others have to say. So, so when we talk about them, they can't be overactive, too abundant. You've got, you know, or they can be closed off. Overactive, underactive. Esophagus stuff, you know, like acid reflux. Acid reflux. Oh gosh, I gotta be mindful of my time. Yes, sir. And if there's something specific that you do want to work on, like someone asks, oh, can you, you know, could, could we just work on my solar plexus and sacral chakra? Sure. Um, you just have to book through my website. Um, I do in-person as well as um, over Zoom. Please be cautious. Please, there are so many scammers out there. Just know I will never reach out to you. I will never say I'm drawn to you. I will, I don't do um, anything like that. So. I would love to work with you, but please, please, please be cautious and know that you just have to go through my website, okay? I know I feel like a broken record, but, and on Instagram, they're all over. 
Oof. They're all over. <sighs> Unfortunately. All right, so let's tuning fork. Throat chakra singing bowl. Just relax that jaw, drop your shoulders. gonna do a little crystal cola oh, doesn't this just remind you of the ocean yeah the Caribbean oh yeah sitting on the beach the pina colada listen to reggae <laughs> let's go there What is that? If you like pina coladas, you know that one. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Ooh, I think I'm gonna make it. So if you're new, I normally I'm I'm it's kind of slower paced, but today I do have a time limit, so um all right, so I'm gonna move up to the um, third eye. Indigo in color, helping with our intuition, connecting to our higher self, visualization. Creativity as well as calming the mind though. If it's over like abundant with thoughts and things and repetitive things and obsessing on things. <laughs> Woo, let's get rid of that. Yeah. self-talk calming down that nervous system and just breathe
Third eye. do highlight actually on the third eye just to calm just to calm actually that energy now you could do like a lapis or a labradorite or um, clear quartz I feel like I want to do a calming today I usually always do <laughs> are going to move up to the crown chakra and, and I probably have to get going here. So our crown chakra, beautiful purple energy, top of our head, oh thank you, connecting us to all that is, our consciousness, the divine, beautiful love energy, their spirituality, whatever that is to you. Bringing that beautiful light energy in. I always say I visualize just like my top of my head opening like a camera lens. You know how it whoosh, opens up and like beautiful waterfall from the heavens. It's just like liquid sparkly light flowing down into my crown the top of my head and just moving down my whole body just clearing and washing away all heaviness all stuck emotions anything is not for our highest good, right? Just clearing all that away. So we can be at our full potential. Listening to ourselves, trusting ourselves. You know yourself better than anyone else in the world. You know? You have all the answers. Just quiet your mind enough. Trust yourself. I like to, you know, when you have the, you know, if you have a bathtub, 
and you let that water out and it just whoosh, whoosh, drains and you just think of all that everything you've washed off the day right it's like that's what we're doing it's just allow that light to flow through you and it's like you're just letting go of that drain and it's just draining down from the top of your head all the way down down your legs to the soles of your feet into the earth Let's bring in some of that light. Let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Did I not get it? I didn't. This is what I feel like it looks like. What I visualize. I like like songs just pop up in my head but that's what it shine bright like a diamond who was that uh not Beyonce um god who was that shine bright like a diamond y'all know Rihanna yes Rihanna Rihanna so shine bright like a diamond today do a little selenite. subscription I appreciate it oh let's do this too let's do a little pyrite because we're gonna shine bright today we're gonna bring in some of that diamond that gold energy oh yeah pyrite is like fire energy uh, igniting that fire within your passion protection grounding abundance yeah all right let's go over each chakra ground all this energy in seal all this gorgeous energy and so our root sacral solar heart throat ears third eye crown and one large one over you ceiling and this beautiful energy for your day night rest of your week your intentions for your highest good always all right let's ground us today because I have a session but thank you so much for being here with me this morning I enjoyed it I haven't done a morning session in a while again if you're new you can follow me on YouTube I will repost this I have all my lives there where you can rewatch them at, at any time at any point um, I'm on Instagram um, if you would like uh, sessions in person over zoom uh, 
and you can book through my website. That's the only place that you can do that or classes if you'd like to learn Reiki. And we do have a live event, myself and Dana from Our Mother's Crystals. It's free. It is February 11th at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we're doing a chakra series and this one will be on the sacral chakra and crystals. So I think I'm gonna do Reiki beforehand. So um, like maybe 45 minutes of Reiki before and then um, we'll go into that. So yeah, you can register. That is in my link, uh, it's free, but it'll just send you a reminder. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and you feel good and balanced and a little brighter. So yeah, shine bright like a diamond today. Love y'all.